Hey guys, Rob here, and I just wanted to jump into Bitscap and give you a little bit of a, another overview of Bitscap since they've had quite a few changes to the platform. So the first thing on the main website is I wanted everybody to make sure that they knew about the knowledge base. If you're new to Bitscap, uh, you're really going to want to dig in here. It's pretty great. It's got a lot of good information pretty much about every part that you need to know. and it's it's definitely worth checking out especially if you're just starting out with the platform alright so let's uh, dig in over here uh, you've got the about security team blog there's other areas there product tours so don't forget to just go to the main page and then once you're there go ahead and just log in and get yourself set up if you haven't done already I'm gonna go ahead and log in here And I've logged in, uh, I've got the demo account going in case you don't know how to get to the demo account. Uh, once you log in, you can come up here to your name and it'll say switch to demo or switch to live, depending on what you want to do. All right, let me go ahead and let the platform load up here. All right, let's take a look at what we're seeing here. And I'm going to change this down here to balance so that you can see. In the demo version, you can have a balance. All you got to do is go into your exchanges and you'll be able to load up some demo balances so that you can actually use this in demo mode. So you actually can just jump in here and use it freely without having any skin in the game so that you can really learn how to trade and do whatever you need to do on the platform. All right, let's go back to trading here. And the first thing you're going to see is this is the order book. And this is the order book for whatever exchange that I'm on that's going to come up in this window. Give it just a second to refresh here. Okay, so right now I'm in the OKX demo. And so this order book is going to be theirs. And the pair that I am in is BTC USD T. And you can see that here. So they got a nice slick drop down catch all the pairs here. Then you can also come over here on this side and you've got all of your pairs over here for whatever your exchange is right here. So OKX pairs are going to be listed over here. They're also broken down just like they would be on their exchange BTC, Ethereum, USDT, and then OKB which is their coin for their platform. Okay, And then you can just list on any pair and that will change your chart here for the listing of that currency pair. Okay, and then in case you've never been on this before, you can scroll down here on the log scale, go back and down. You can scroll in and out. I'm just pretty much just doing this with my mouse. And of course at the volume, at the bottom you've got volume in trading. All right, so pretty, pretty simple stuff. All right, let's start with the placing an order section over here. Uh, if I go to balance, and I know I've got BTC in demo mode here, I can go over here to my BTC pairs. And let's say I want to go to Cardano. Okay. And I can place a limit order for that Cardano based on what I want to do as far as, you know, how much I want. The limit order is basically going to be an order that is going to be placed at the price that I want to pay. Okay, so if I wanted to put in a limit order, what I might want to do is search the order book here and see what the lowest price is. By using a limit order, I can place this order for pretty much the lowest price that I'm willing to pay. So in the red orders here, which are the sell orders, you've got people placing orders at a higher and higher price. And in the buy, you got people placing orders lower and lower and lower. So right now, the market price right there is 513. So I can come down here and click 501, and you can see it populates my order over here, okay, for my limit order. And then I can say I want 20% of my Bitcoin reserves into Cardano, and then I can just place that order. 
I'll say, so now that should have picked up my order, and that's going to be listed in open orders. And there it is, my Cardano BTC buy limit, and it's got my amount here and my price. All right, next let's take a look at our market order. So we'll come over here. Now market order is basically going to be whatever the market price is, okay? And that's going to be the swing between the sale, uh, the, the buyers and sellers, okay? So your market price is basically going to be right there, all right? So in this case, I'm going to buy 5% of my Bitcoin, using 5% of my Bitcoin to buy Cardano. I'm going to put in my buy, and it should go ahead and place that, and you can see that on the little flags on the side here, and that's placing that, and then we come over here to our balance, and there is our Cardano. All right, so pretty good. All right, let's move on to shadow order. Okay, so using my shadow order, I basically could set up an order where I want to buy at least one of three different cryptocurrencies with 100% of my Bitcoin, okay? So you could do this with shadow order. What you could do is, let's say one of those three is Cardano. So I could come in here and go to the order book and find pretty much the lowest price here and do 100% of my Bitcoin. And then come down here, and I'm under shadow order, and then I can go ahead and put that buy in there. And once I come over here to open orders, I'm going to have a shadow place for Cardano for basically 100% of my BTC. But it's really not placing that order. It's just kind of, okay, if price gets to where I want it to be, it will, it will grab that order and place that order for me. But let's say that I also am interested in buying Ethereum. Okay, and let's come down and look at Ethereum here. And wait till the order book refreshes here. And then I can also click on 100% of BTC here and then buy Ethereum. And there you see, now we see two orders, one for Ethereum, one for Cardano. Now let's do a third, all right, let's do XRP. And we'll come over here to the order book and try to get a good price, and we're going to do 100%, and we're going to hit buy XRP. Now notice on your trading chart that it shows you where that, that order is coming in. So if you want to move that order up and down, you can at any time before your order is placed. So I can do that. It'll make the adjustment and then I can just hit OK. And now I've got three shadow orders in. I got one, two, three, and whatever one goes first is going to use the funds that I allocated to buy one of three of those cryptocurrencies. Okay? So that's one of the things you can do with Shadow Order. And again, that's under the knowledge base. So if you guys want to go back into the knowledge base, um, you can just find it right there under um, Shadow Order. Okay? All right, let's take a look at a stop limit here and we'll see how that's going to work for us. Okay, so let's take a look at this uh, stop limit. And you can look this up in the knowledge base if you want to read all about it, but I'm just going to show you a quick way that I, how I would use this. Um, let's go to the buy side of Cardano and the sell side of Cardano, and I'm just going to uh, pop some numbers in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit 50% here. And I'm just going to, I don't care what these numbers are right now, okay? I'm just going to click buy, and I'm just going to say yes, okay? And I'll show you why I don't care. Because what it does is it puts this slider over here for you, and this is a much better way to look at this. So it's saying on this side here that I'm buying Cardano, and I want to slide this into exactly where I think I want to buy it, okay? I'm looking at this, uh, I'm looking at this, these candles here, and how it's coming back down, and kind of guessing where price is going to be, and I'm thinking, okay, you know, 511 is not bad, but man, I'd really like to be buying down here, okay? So I'm going to slide this up here, 
all right? I'm going to get to about 492, and it's going to say at 492, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this under 492. I think I've got it on 421, so I'm going to, I'm going to get it. When it comes to 492, I'm going to slide in with an order of 421 and see if it gets picked up. Okay, so then I'm just going to say okay. So it doesn't actually show on the books, so nobody can see that you actually have that order on the books. Okay, so it's just sitting there. So, and you can do the same thing on the sales side, okay, right? So I can come over here and I can hit sell and just say yes and wait until that slider shows up. There it is. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say now that I, I own it, I'm going to come up here and say, man, if this thing ever jumps up to right here it's at 552 I'm gonna sneak in with 592 because I bet if somebody's buying it at 552 they're gonna pay me 592 I'm just gonna say okay there you go that's a really great way to buy crypto okay so you can do that on all these pairs so that's basically how your stop limit is gonna work um, but go ahead and go back and read that in the knowledge base um, so I don't have to make this video so long that, uh, you know, it becomes a you know five-hour video here. There's plenty of information in the knowledge base on all four of these sections, limit order, market order, shadow order, and stop limit. Okay, let's um, take a look real quick at CoinSwap. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit CoinSwap and you get a little screen that comes up and it's exactly what it looks like okay you can basically send BTC for another coin and just basically swap all right and you're just gonna need your wallet addresses and extra tag IDs if if that's applicable to your crypto all right so that's coin swap and again you can look at the knowledge base for coin swap all right, let's come over here and we'll take a look at any of your open orders. Those are going to be listed here. Any of your balances for your exchanges are going to be listed here in the demo account. I'm showing I got a balance on Binance and OKX and Coinbase. So those are all your balances. Any positions that you're holding, any of your trade history, pricing alerts. Okay, you can set up pricing alerts. Um, this is pretty cool. Let me show you how to do this. All right, so what you can do is you can just kind of come over to the order book and just, you know, find a good price over here that you think you want. So I can just click 419 on uh, Cardano, and I'm just going to copy that out, and I'm just going to put that right in there, and then I'm just going to hit Set Alert. And so when price meets that point there, it's going to do a little bell on my computer, and I'll be alerted to prices hit that point. Um, you know, this is going to be helpful if you want to set up a bunch of alerts for a lot of different cryptos so that you're, you know, I don't know where I'm going to put my money, you know, you're, you're kind of deciding what you want to do. These kind of tools can really help you uh, not have to sit and watch it all the time. Go back to your day, do what you need to do, you're working on your computer, working on another screen. Um, these kind of set alerts are pretty great for that. All right. And then you can go into the log files, and this will show you everything that you've been doing on the platform in the trading side. And that's pretty much it on the trading screen here. Um, I think this, this was pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you've been on exchanges, you're going to be able to see pairs. You've got favorites here. You can just put a star next to your favorite, and then it'll show up here. And then it'll show all of your recent trades. Okay. And you can go back to your pairs, and then BTC, ETH, and of course all of this is set for this exchange. So if I come down here and I change this, then it's going to change what I've got over here. All right. So that is the trading screen, and I think we're going to move next to bots. All right. Let's go into bots over here, and I just did a recent video on setting up your ranges and bots so if you haven't checked that out take a look it's on my youtube channel um and this video may not be on my channel so um if not um it's you can probably find the link in the chat okay so here is the bots if you've never seen this before this is uh pretty nice 
it's pretty simple guys you're just going to come over here to these strategies here and you're going to find uh, whatever cryptocurrency that you want to put into a bot system where it's going to buy your crypto up and down a range so that it buys you in and out of whatever other pair that you want to pair it with so if I want to do Bitcoin and I'm gonna go over here and hit Monaco and it'll set this up and I can go over here and look at the back test period on this BTC Monaco pair here and it'll show me a, a return it'll show me percentages so it's pretty cool it'll it'll pretty much show you everything you need to know and again go into the knowledge base so that you can see all this and read about it um, but it's 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 pretty cool what it does once you set these grids it'll go and uh, buy you low and sell you high and buy you low and sell you high and buy you low so in other words it just kind of builds the percentage amount of money that you have in your portfolio okay so then once you do that you can come over here and you can change your ranges if you want to and you can set your grid qual uh, quantity here so in this case we've got eight and you can kind of see a visual of those grids here if you just kind of go to a different time frame so let me put a different time frame here so that we can see those grids here so let's see here let, let me actually get on one that's got grids here let me change over to this bot here this one's this one's actually been running on demo here so this should change out here and it should show us all the grids on this one this has got 13 grids yeah there we go so so this was set in this range right here and I haven't actually been back in this demo and we had a little pump and alts so once you set these ranges this is I'm, I'm glad this showed this because once you set these ranges it's not gonna buy if your range is out of whack okay mine is clearly out of whack so I need to go back in and get rid of this bot and go back in and set it up for the proper ranges okay so you know one of the things when you're doing your ranges is you can set your ranges for super high and then super low or you can set your ranges real tight for wherever it's trading and then come back in a week and adjust those ranges and if you have to adjust it basically you're just gonna wanna just delete the bot okay and then redo the bot again based on the proper ranges so it's pretty simple but let's just um, let's just do a bot here I'm just gonna pick one at random here uh, let's see here let's do let's see if I even have any EOS let me do BTC I know I've got BTC here oh, maybe I don't have any BTC here okay there we go I just got this adjusted so I exited out of my bots and I was able to get my balance back here so now I've got a balance and I've just got this set up on EOS uh, USDT and I can go ahead and check my ranges here so I'm going to adjust my ranges here plus I'm gonna adjust how much money I want to put into this I'm just using this slider to adjust this investment here so I'm gonna take this down to 25 percent and then I'm gonna come over here and on my sliders I'm just going to adjust my sliders up and down here. So here's the lower limit slider, and here's the upper limit. And so if I'm thinking we're going to have a pump, maybe I want to leave my upper limit there and maybe bring my lower limit up a little bit. And then depending on how many grids that I want to put on here, um, I can just ballpark this at, say, 20 grids. Okay. And then it's going to be profit per grid there. And then I'm just going to hit Start Bot here. And then it's going to tell me it's going to go in and buy an amount of EOS that I need to get the bot going. And we should see the little buy flags, and there they are. And there's all my grids. So right now, as the price is right here in the middle, as it goes down, it's going to buy in. And as it goes back up, it's going to sell it off. All right, so that's pretty much how it works. Um, bot feature is pretty cool. If you guys uh, have a lot of cryptocurrency and you're holding, you know, a lot of different coins um, and you're just going to hold on to them, you know, you're not going to be leverage trading them or anything like that. You're just basically going to hold them. Put your 
coins in these bots because it's gonna it's it's gonna increase your portfolio rather than just holding stagnant coins. Okay, so it might it might be something that you want to look into. And again, go over to the knowledge base and read more about the bot and how it works. Okay, guys, so I'm over here on signals in the platform, and this is pretty basic. I mean, it's just gonna show you. Um, different crypto pairs and what they're trading for, what the detected price is, and what the current price is. And it's showing it as the price raised going up, or it's showing it as a negative if the price is going down. Okay? And this one's showing that the price is going down, so it might be a better buy, and it's got the green bars here. And you can also just look for trading pairs based on uh, your crypto, maybe that you're holding. So let's assume that you're just holding Ethereum. So this is going to then just give us pairs that are Ethereum, okay, in case you're looking to move in and out. Okay, so that's signals. It's uh, pretty basic there. All right, let's um, jump over to arbitrage. Okay, hey guys, I'm in arbitrage and uh, pretty easy to use. It's going to show you uh, what exchanges you've got listed here and whether there's an arbitrage opportunity. And the it's kind of hard to show in demo because you've got to have you know funds on on each account the way their arbitrage works, which is fine. But basically, in a nutshell, their arbitrage is going to buy uh, crypto on one exchange and sell it on the other. Um, you know, the whole point is to do that so that you're uh, gaining in value because you're selling your crypto at a higher price and buying it at a lower price, whether it's on the same exchange or on a different exchange, okay? And then you can adjust your balances right here on the platform as far as how much you want to use when you're doing your arbitrage, okay? And then it's also got a search feature there. So again, go into the knowledge base and you can look up arbitrage. There's really not a lot to talk about here. It's pretty simple. Um, one of the things I really like about Bitsgap is um, this is not a hard platform to use at all. Uh, it's really fast and it's uh, very easy to use. All right, let's uh, jump over to portfolio. All right, your portfolio is going to show you your history of your buys and sell orders. It's going to show you what you have in positions. Uh, out. Uh, it's going to show you open orders that you've currently got open. And, and then it's just going to give you a basic overview of your portfolio. And I'm in the demo mode here, so in the demo mode it's showing about $80,000 in value on my demo holding, so that's awesome. All right, so that's pretty easy, and let's go over to my exchanges. And here in my exchanges, you're just going to want to, it's going to look a little bit different on the, on the live side, but once you set it up, you're just going to click in here and you can go and set up your live account. And this is going to take us directly to OKX. So that just takes us to the exchange to go ahead and get it set up. Okay. So that's pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm hoping I didn't make too long of a video here for you, but uh, please jump in here at your leisure. Go ahead and set up the demo account and load up your funds uh, using the Exchanges tab and uh, have at it. And this will really help you to start uh, honing your skills at, as far as doing trading in cryptocurrency. All right, I hope you guys have a good day. Thanks for watching.